Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge Channel. This is our Sailor Basha. So this is again a technical video related to alpha level purifier bowl cleaning. So in this video, I would like to show you how to dismantle. What are all the checks that we need to do for uh, overrolling bowl routines for alpha level purifier? So basically, this video is a little bit longer video. So I would. Uh, prefer to split into two videos like dismantling and assembling so basically all uh, uh, same procedure risk assessment safety login lockout um, safety ppb everything you have to follow and uh, all the above you take reference of my video for doing any your maintenance work and you follow the makers manual instruction to carry out the job thank you all keep watching let's go and see the video Now after fitting the TISA slide then uh, you need to fit the nut for it and again as I say all the time whenever you are fitting the nut just give a molly coat or copper slip coat over the threads and fit the nut. So tighten the nut along with the with the help of uh, tightening tool again the same way use the tool to hold the bowl from rotating while you are tightening the nut so for this uh, uh, nut tightening you can use uh, a torx spanner and for this model purifier it is uh, 200 uh, newton meter that we have to tighten it so follow the tightening procedure use the proper tightening sequence means properly you have to fit the nut in place and tighten along with the torque wrench okay so next so this is uh, next you come with fitting up after fitting both the nuts next come with a disc stack 
so be very careful when you are fitting that is tack in place make sure it is fitted properly inside the discharge slide how you know it is properly seated just turn the entire disc stack it should not rotate that means it got fitted in the slot of discharge slide and uh, this main thing that you need to notice in the top of the disc will be always having a different kind of edge okay so that is the main thing that you need to keep and uh, okay after placing this put back the inlet outlet pipe after putting the inlet outlet pipe make just check the rotation of uh, pairing disc so after pairing disc is in place now it is time to fit back the cover okay now uh, get ready to fit the bowl hood just lift it with the help of a lifting tool and just check the uh, o-ring is in place we renewed the o-ring and uh, this main seal ring is in a good condition so i'm not uh, renewing it so in some other video i will show how to renew it for this alpha level purifier same same procedure and you can see a lock pin and you will be having a slot in the bowl hood this lock pin and slot should match that is how you have to fit you can see the slot in the bowl hood and a lock pin in the body and this slot should enter the bowl yeah the slot is already in place if it is not in place we have a little trouble so we just lift it again and put it in place and you can see now the slot is exactly in way of the pin so that's all this is how you have to fit it next comes the lock ring for uh, fitting back the lock ring again the same procedure which we followed earlier okay now uh, the main thing that you need to keep it in mind is uh, when you are uh, fitting the lock ring that lock ring slot pin should be near the which should be contact with the body now we are going to fit the lock ring in place so compression tool is in place um, yeah fit properly So after the compression uh, tool is in place clamp is also engaged and the screw should be in the inner side just keep on tightening gradually don't uh, tight uh, too much on one side all three should be gradually tightened and you can see the bowl head is bowl hood is going inside and you, can, you have to lock the lock ring with the help without any help of uh, external heating just if you press it should go and lock to that extent you have to compress the compression tool see i am just pushing the lock ring with the help of my hand this is what it should be if it is not getting pushed with the help of hand then that means the lock ring is either damaged in that condition you have to renew it you have to renew the lock ring now again i am pushing it more and now the lock has been in place that's all this is how you have to fit the lock ring and that's all main thing is done and just i want to make sure it is turning freely and it is turning very perfect no problem so we are done with this next we put back the cover while putting back the cover make sure the pairing disc is towards the pipe and uh, now we are done with assembly of the inner parts now comes with the, the top side next we need to put the pairing spring and assembly
okay so now I just want to clean the top side again because you can see a lot of sludge formation and uh, you can see the movement of uh, pipe is equal normal there is no tightening or nothing so I remove all the sludge and the others hand we are tightening the top cover uh, nut bolts and after fitting it now we can fit the arm in place along with the spring so now comes how to fit the spring the spring hook should be opposite opposite side so fit it in the place and lock it the fit uh, the spring the other side one side of the spring should be kept opposite like both the hook cannot be on the same side both the end of the hook should be in the opposite opposite side that is the procedure so fit it and keep it in place and put the lock nut and you are fixing the arm in place so tighten it tighten the uh, allen bolt with the help of allen key and this place is little uh, mean the tightening of this uh, is little uh, uh, tough because the place is very small it's congested so tighten it properly and just check the spring action once the spring action is okay then you can put back the fitted in the place and now we are done with this just check the spring action spring action is okay moment of spring and then you can put back the housing assembly so this is our uh, connection housing so fit it back and uh, just give a little tap yeah once you give it a tap it will get seated in place now put back the lock nut and the washer then come back the Put back the connections for your uh, pipes uh, we have o-rings for this inlet outlet pipes so if you want if you find the o-rings are damaged you can change the renew the o-ring and uh, that's all we are done with the bowl routines of uh, alpha level purifier so I think uh, this video must have given you some information about how to do bowl cleaning routines and what all the checks to be done for overrolling alpha level purifier thank you all keep supporting